Hey guys, it's me, The Cool Loser, and today I have received, finally, my Nexus 4. I ordered it on November 27th, and I just got it today on the 10th of December. You do the math how long it took to get here. And without further ado, let's open the box. So that was very easy, and this is how Google sends me it. Now the scary thing about it is that they never made me sign for it. Now that was kind of scary. I don't know why they didn't require me to sign for it. But here's the information, and just the Nexus in here. <laughs> okay, is there any tape in the outside? I don't need to know. Uh, no, it's gonna be one of those where you slide out. So let's slide it out. I mean, I just want to get it open and compare it real quick to my Nexus before I would do like a bigger review in comparison to the Galaxy Nexus. Oh, there's the tapes. So I guess I do need this guy back. Oh, okay, it's all better. Oh. Okay, I'm good. Very easy to open up. And there we have it. And already the device. Just take a look right here real quick before pamphlet. I don't care. A little metal piece. Not even sure what this is for. Be the back. SIM card remover probably. Okay, the charger. And then the USB charging kit, nothing else. So let's clear this out. Galaxy Nexus. Nexus 4. Already I see how much thicker this guy is. This guy will rock. This guy doesn't rock. In the hand, this already feels lighter than my Galaxy Nexus already. Um, the thinness. Maybe not from the very top, there's a thinnest point on the Galaxy Nexus. And the bottom. Let me do something there. That's the only fatty part of the Galaxy Nexus. And you will see that the thinner part is actually a little bit thinner than the, the whole flat surface. Quick comparison, so basically it's showing off the difference. This is my first time ever looking at it, hands on, ever playing with it, and I still don't even, you know, done everything for it. Let's look at the back, the way it looks there. You see the Nexus 4 is shiny. Looks a lot better. Nexus on the left. Galaxy on the right, obviously you can tell the differences. That little glistening glitter type of thing that's on there is kind of hard to see unless like you really are on it. So it, it is one of those where they're saying it's not like you're gonna see it's all annoying. There is actually a little case on this, so it's actually gonna be shinier than what this is. It has a little, not case, but a little plastic piece on it that I can take off, but I'd rather leave it on there until it falls off, so I'm gonna have not as much scratches on there because it is glass back so the whole device is glass in the front and glass in the back supposedly gorilla glass 2 i believe i'm not too sure but i do have the 16 gigabyte version to power this guy on Oop, vibrated so there it goes comes off and this is going to be running 4.2 Android Jelly Bean, and most likely I'll be able to update to the 4.2.1. Says I need the SIM card, don't have it right now. Log into the Wi Fi, signing in, move the Galaxy Nexus over. I'll do the email later. Not now. Sure. Okay, just punch in my name there. You agree that your phone may receive, yes, and finish. Cool. And then we have it launched right here. And I got it started. Now you see the outside. They say that it was some kind of rubber feeling outside. You got your right button over here. So what's the difference? You get the, that's the differences right there. Now they're pretty much the same. I don't feel like they're going to be any different in the hand other than the Nexus 4 is lighter. The very bottom. Microphone hole is the same spot. Charging same spot. And then you got the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack here, but you have it up here for the Nexus 4. 
and another microphone there. On the left side, we will see the up and down volume. And then we got the micro SIM port in here. That's pretty much the whole difference is, as you can tell on this device. A lot of people were saying this thing is ugly. What the hell is this for? It's for actually unscrewing the back. So if you have a break, you need to replace it. You know, there's, it's easy to get to. Now every device I get, I root. So I'll be rooting this device if I decide that this is gonna be my daily driver. As you see, I'm gonna be retiring my Galaxy Nexus. If indeed I say that this is gonna be, you know, the best. I don't see why it wouldn't be a better phone. But you know, there might be some little things that I'm crazy enough not to want it. And I'll be seeing the screen quality. Let me just take a look at it right now. Okay, and I would admit that the screen already right away looks more crispier as in like there's less of a pixelage that I can see because the Galaxy Nexus is already a 720p screen you know it looks amazingly great with the LED and everything but this is a super LCD too and it actually has a little bit less pixelage that I could see that my Nexus shows. A lot of people were saying that the Nexus 4 is simply like a Galaxy Nexus S version like you know how an iPhone does. Some people were saying that's the upgrade that they're thinking of this device between these two because it's not completely you know crazy specs where you're gonna be like oh my god the next generation specs or whatever because there's been phones already out with this type of thing. And also another thing that I saw that at the edge of the screen you will see that it just drops the glass drops and here I feel the edge of this screen so it does look like it has a smaller bezel on the Nexus 4. And you got your pull down notification and you got your two finger going to settings and let's look in the about phone and I'm running 4.2. This was just a quick unboxing and a little comparison. I'll do a little bit better lighting and more up front showing you how it looks more than what I just showed you right now. I'll be testing out the battery, the speaker, the camera. I'll be, you know, doing those type of things later on. A lot of people like to get my input. Now I gotta go play with this device and so I'm gonna have to cut my SIM card down or go to T-Mobile and get the micro SIM version, I don't know. But we shall see. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna go play with this and set it up and doodle around and I shall see you guys next time for another video. Can't wait to break it.